Hey YouTube, this is Ryan making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. Um, this is my overview of the Cold Steel Taipan. I just bought this knife yesterday. A um, little bit of a backstory with this one. I had the new release Cold Steel Black Bear Classic on back order since January. Um, I talked to Cleavers, a gun store here in Brisbane, about it um, continually since January. Um, they couldn't tell me when they could get it in. It's been on back order for like five months. Um, basically, they just couldn't say when they could get it in. And I honestly got the shits with it to the point where I just couldn't wait any longer. Um, five months waiting on a production knife to come in, I thought I thought was unreasonable. There were apparently reasons why they're no longer getting plane shipments in. They have to all go by via boat. That is reasonable to a point, but still five months in waiting for a production knife to come in because this was a 2020 release. So we're like we're nearly halfway through the year and it still hasn't come out. Um, I'd long wanted one, but it didn't come out. So anyway, I ended up yesterday calling cleavers up and saying that i would instead cancel the order and ask them if they had the taipan in stock well they did and here it is so i bought it and to tell you the truth it it saved me a bit of money. The, um, the Black Bear Classic was $389 from Cleavers, and this one was $299.99. So saved myself $90, and I'm entirely happy with it. Well, anyway, on to the overview. So the Cold Steel Taipan is a dagger. This is in the new... San Mai, so it's not the older version. These are made in Taiwan and not Japan. The older versions are all made in Japan. These ones are all in Taiwan. I don't know. This is the first one I've ever had in the San Mai and made in Taiwan. So it'll be an interesting, interesting adventure for me. But so far, so good. Um, the fit and finish on these are really good. Anyway, here's a a look on the knife. So it's a dagger, full tang, tang goes all the way. Over moulded cray X handle, short stainless steel guard with a pommel. It does have a lanyard hull. I'm not going to put one on it. it I don't think it needs it with a uh, pointed pommel for obviously for striking. These are a fighting knife that daggers close up of the blade. Hopefully the light's picking up. The laminate line is very well done. It's um all even. There's a there's the blade. It's beautiful. Um, very well done. All around the knife. I'll put the rest of the stats of the knife in the description bar as per usual. As I said, cost for this was $299.99 from Cleavers. Um, comes with a quality Securex sheath. I always liked these sheaths 
as far as factor she's go they're pretty good um lots of lots of options for lashing there is one little complaint i will say it is a bit nitpicky but the they normally in there if you look in here there is two little pinch points and they normally secure and have retention this one doesn't have any retention whatsoever so you do have to actually use the snap loops that is my only complaint on the sheath um yeah, it um it doesn't retain the knife, so you do have to use the snap loop. But other than that, the Securex sheath comes. It perfectly suits the knife, fits the knife really well. Excellent sheath, other than the poor retention on there. All every other one I've ever had has had really good, nice nice retention there. I tried tightening these up. I thought it might pinch it up a bit and tighten it up but it didn't um yeah it just didn't do it for me um came shaving sharp both edges were from the factory shave just on shaving sharp for arm hair um using phone book paper not a problem yeah it cut phone book paper both edges were quite keen. I haven't stropped it yet, but I am going to strop it on my strops just to refine the edge just a little bit better and polish it up a little bit better. But yeah, entirely happy with the keenness from factory. And it's a formidable dagger, fighting dagger. There it is in the hammer grip. Plenty of room on the handle. These secure uh, the Crayx handles are really good, nice and grippy. That short guard allows you to not go up onto the blade. That's how you basically in reverse grip. Again, plenty of plenty of grip. Really good, sticky. It's tacky. All the fit here is really good. Everything's really good. As I said, they're made in Taiwan. I don't know. I've got the Japanese versions and of the San Mai 3 and looking between the two differences, I can't see any differences in quality as far as the quality goes between the two um this one's finished just as well so they're doing quite well quite good work you know as far as the um quality of fit and finish goes there's um all the grinds are really even the laminate line is pretty well perfect all the way around there's no 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 fit and finish problems that I can see on it. It's all very well done. High quality knife. I mean, and you expect that for a $300 knife, you know, like I'd be taken aback if it wasn't perfect, basically, you know, as far as I'm concerned. You know, like for $300, you, you expect them to be pretty well perfect. So it comes down to the pros of the knife. It's a classic dagger and Cold Steel produced it. Produced a classic dagger. And that's what it is. It's a classic fighting dagger. And the other one is the fit and finish. Um, as I said, it's pretty well close to being perfect. Um, yeah, it's really well done. Really well finished. As I said, the grind lines are nice. All symmetrical. The laminate lines, beautifully well done. It's um, not wavy or anything like that. Yeah, 
Everything's even. It's really well done. Really well done. And the only con I can see on it is the poor retention on the sheath. But that's very nitpicky. And it, they did give you a snap class. So, and it's pretty easy to get out. So, yeah. They do ship in a typical cold steel box. Got all the dimensions on it. Um, yeah. They do ship in... A bit of paperwork. That's um, just my receipt. They come in a bubble wrap. The knife doesn't actually ship in the sheath. So the knife actually comes like that in the bubble wrap the sheath comes in a plastic bag so it's that's that's how it's shipped which is pretty good I, I i prefer them shipped like that rather than um rather than in the sheaths because all that does is end up marking the blades but it's a better way of doing it but that's how how most cold steel knives come these days in the in the sh in the boxes like that but anyway that's just a quick overview of the knife my latest knife I, I probably won't be buying many knives now um yeah it, just with this covid-19 thing business coming up and um coming uh, at at the moment um yeah, it slowed me down a lot with my knife buying. This will probably be my last one for a while, and I'm glad I got it. It's been a long time. I, I, I've long admired the Taipan. I just um, never dropped the, dropped the hammer on it, and I'm glad I got it because it's, um, it's a beautiful knife. Um, I don't have many daggers, but in Queensland, some may be saying, oh, Australian or they'd have daggers. Well, yeah, there are some states in Australia that you aren't allowed. You can get exceptions, but in Queensland where I live, these are perfectly legal. I am allowed to own daggers. I, I can have double-edged knives and daggers. I don't have to get exceptions or anything like that. They are perfectly legally legal to own where I live. But, um, yeah, other states, you can't get them. Victoria is one that I know specifically you can't unless you get exception for it and you have to apply for it and all that. But um, yeah, here in Queensland, I am allowed to own them, thankfully. I didn't mention too, sorry, and I should have, um, with the blade, it has a hollow grind. So yeah, I should have mentioned that too, but yeah, I'll just look, look around the, knife again for all those who want to see it it's a beautiful knife then they did have some hiccups early on but they've really really um sorted them out now they're getting them getting them producing them producing high quality now in the in the taiwan factory um yeah um this is from what i can see it's every bit as good as the japanese versions as far as the quality goes i don't this is the first time i've had the the vg10 version of the san mai the other one was vg1 i don't know what the differences are so yet to see if there is any differences but um yeah They've, all, they've swapped it all over. The, you can't get Semi 3 anymore um, as far as that, that goes. You might get it on the secondary market, but, yeah, they, they don't make... Cold Steel doesn't make it. It's the Sand Mine now, which is all VG10. And I think they still use the 420J in the laminate, but um, don't quote me on that. That I'm, I'm only guessing with that. But there there it is. That's my overview of the Cold Steel Taipan in Sand Mai. A classic 
cold steel knife and a classic fighting dagger. Thanks for watching.